I'm shaping the success, the wealth, and the riches of the African according to the African. Our forefathers have got a history of why saying that we're connected to progress. Right now, I'm excited to journey on a journey of the wise sayings, connecting their progress to the progress that I project and I see and predict and anticipate in the future. As Africa, we have a deep culture of success. Our forefathers have got proverbs, and these proverbs, they prove that they were successful. And now we are going to embrace and we are going to take them because we are going to be successful. It is time for us to harness the culture of success coming from our forefathers and create a sustainable growth for Africa as a whole, for Zimbabwe as a whole, for Kenya as a whole, for Djibouti as a whole. I'm writing and I'm passing down this information to the next generation. Why? Because we have the internet. We have everything that enables us to pass it to the next generation. Therefore, I pledge that I want to make this progress sustainable. It is I, it is us that we shape the Africa and tell the story of Africa. This project, this program that I have, I'll go down on the why say on the proverbs of each and every country. Join me in this journey. My name is TJ. I'm excited. Lesedi Larona. Lesedi Larona. You wonder what is the meaning of this word? Well, it's a phrase and I'm going to tell you a little bit later on. You have to stick around. Let me introduce to you the country of Botswana. It got its independence in 1966 and it's on the southern part of Africa. This country is quite big with around 582,000 square meters. It lies within the tropics and has some of the best wilderness and wildlife in Africa. Well, it is bordered by Namibia, Zimbabwe, and South Africa. To a certain extent, it is also border, bordered by Zambia. The people of Botswana, if it's a one person, we call, the, we call him or her Botswana. If there are more people, we call them Botswana. And this brings a smile on my face as I talk about these people because these are the natives of the country. In this country, they have a population, it's a little bit small, just above 2 million, it's around 2.2 million, but it's a good population for this country. We wouldn't want it better. So in this country, they speak several languages, but their languages are English, Setswana, and Ikalanga. So the first word that I said, it was Tswana. They said it. Larona, what do you think it means? I'm taking you to this story. Botswana is quite rich as far as livestock is concerned. The cattle that you get in Botswana are big. The goats that you get in Botswana are big. So is their economy. I'm going to tell you the story because the story is amazing. Their national currency is called the Pula. And the smaller denomination is called the Tebe. So they use the Pula and the Tebe. Let's say the Laron. I love that. This is one of the most native. This is one of the most original statements or a phrase that I've ever heard. And when I read the story, Let's say the Laron. The land of diamonds. Botswana is one of the biggest diamond producers in this world. And we can say that they have actually produced 728 million carats of rough diamonds since 1971. Wow. That's a good journey. Well, let's come to the story. Let's say de la Rona. This is one of the biggest diamond, rough diamonds that have been mined, and it was mined in Botswana close to a place called Joanin. In statistics, it is 1,101 carats of diamonds, which means that it weighs close to 200 grams or just above 200 grams. Do you know how much it fetched on the market? Just, just put a guess. Lesedi Larona. 
it means our light. That's why I love this. It means our light. Let's say the Larona fetched $53 million on the market. Just one stone coming from, from Botswana. Well, the topic of the day or the topic of this program is to know the proverbs that are associated with success, riches, and wealth coming from Botswana. The first proverb coming from Botswana that supports greatness and that promotes and that motivates me is the one that says, one who seeks the red cow with white spots does not sleep. It means that if you want something, no matter how difficult, you must search for it diligently. This is the same in business. The more you want something, the more you're going to do about it. So the Swanas, they say that one who seeks the red cow with spots does not sleep. Whenever you want to start a business, whenever you want to do something, do it diligently. This one is followed by the one that says the cow does not change its lowing. Ah, the cow does not change its lowing. It means that once a habit has been formed, it is very difficult to change that habit. So, let's look at the first one. We really want something. We create the habits, discipline. We create anything, goodness, integrity. And if we are good, then we are not going to change. We are always going to be good. This is good for business. And the last one, it says, The quick one may win, but the enduring one will. This is a Swana proverb. Keep on whatever you're doing because if you endure, at the end of the day, you will always win. These are the three proverbs that are coming from the land of Botswana. The land where we got Lesse de Larona. And I hope it's a great motivation for you guys to start business, to start something that will lead to self-reliance. African proverbs, we are rich and you are rich. We are wealthy. My name is TJ and this is Financial Motivation. This is the African proverb version. We are rich, you are wealthy, sustainable growth for Africa. Thank you.